Hey everybody, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're all here. So have you ever been building a PowerPoint presentation and someone reaches out and says, hey, I've got a table. Can you insert it into your presentation for me? And you're like, oh yeah, I can do that. Go ahead and send it to me. Not a problem. And then you get it and it's in the form of a picture because they've just taken a screenshot and sent it on. And you're sitting there like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to manually enter this data into Excel so that I can either make changes to it or I can combine it with my data. I think we've all been there. Now I'm going to go a step further and tell you while I've been manually entering that data, I'm yelling at this picture of the table like it can actually argue back. <laughs> And I know it sounds crazy, but I don't like doing anything manually if I don't have to. And I'm sure you don't either. We don't have time for that. So what if I were to tell you there's a way to take the data and the table that's in that picture, convert it to a table that you can edit, and then bring it back into your PowerPoint presentation? That would be really cool, wouldn't it? And really, really helpful. Well, that's what I'm getting ready to show you. And I cannot wait to show you how it works. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is a sales table that was sent to me in the form of a picture. And I need to make some changes to it before I can insert it into my presentation. So the first thing I want to do is select my picture. And I'm going to control C or right click and copy. And I'm going to paste it into Word. But we're going to go up to paste and paste special. And we need to tell it to paste it as a ping, not a JPEG, a GIF, a graphic object. It has to be a PNG or it will not work. So let's go ahead and tell it OK. And our picture is a little large, so we can shrink it down. There we go, so we can see it all. Now the next thing that we want to do is save this Word document as a PDF. And I'm just going to do a File Save As. Go to my desktop, and I'm going to name this one Annual Sales, do my drop down, tell it a PDF, and tell it to save. There's our PDF. We want to go ahead and close this out. Now the next thing we want to do is we need to open our PDF up again and convert it in Word. So we'll go to File, Open, go back to our desktop, open our annual sales and it'll say that it's going to convert it and we're going to tell it OK. And now as you see it took what was a picture and it converted it into a table. Now if we select our table control C or right click and copy we're going to paste it into Excel and now you can see we can go in and make whatever changes we need to to this data. Let's just say we need to bold this. We need to bold this. We can make font style changes, font size changes, or whatever. So let's go ahead and copy this now. Let's go back to PowerPoint. We're going to do a Control M for a new slide and Control V. And now we have our table. We can use some of these design ideas to change it, or we can leave it as it was. But now we have a picture converted to a table within our PowerPoint presentation. So what'd you think? Pretty cool, huh? And this should save you quite a bit of time going forward if someone sends you a table as a picture. Now just keep in mind that when you're doing the paste into Word that you go to Paste Special and you tell it a ping. If you pick anything else, the process will not work correctly. And then all you have to do is make your formatting changes in Excel and get it back over to PowerPoint and you're good to go. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel before you go. And if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future content, then drop me a comment and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.